Okay, guys, for the second half, I'm going to do just a couple of more examples to help you out with the synthetic division. If you have your books open on page 334, I'm actually doing 37 and 38, which are two problems that will be in the homework section. I won't assign those because obviously I've already, I'm already doing them for you, but it's just something to look back and refresh your memory about how to do these problems. Okay, 37. It says use synthetic division to evaluate the polynomial function for the given value of x. So once again, this g of x, let me use blue, this g of x is just like a y value. It makes no difference. I'm going to evaluate it too. So the first thing I'm going to do is evaluate these degrees. So my degrees is going, or my exponents, excuse me, the degree of this polynomial function is 3 because it's the highest exponent. But my exponents have to go in descending order. So the first step you want to do here is make sure your exponents are going from largest to smallest. A couple of seconds to write that down. So as we look at this function, we notice that our exponents are indeed going down. It's 3, 2, 1, and then you don't have a variable, so the exponent is 0. So it is going in descending order. The second thing you have to make sure is make sure you are not missing any exponent. So, for example, if I start at, let's just say my, the degree is 8, then when I use synthetic division, I have to take care of the 8 exponent, the 7th exponent, the 6th exponent, 5th, 4th, 3rd, 2nd, 1st, and then my constant. If it's not there, I must plug in a zero for it. But when I start at three, I've got all the I have all the numbers underneath three, so I'm good with this one. So once again, here's the process. I'm going to rewrite just these numbers in a straight line. Five, four, eight, one. In the backwards L, I'm going to put the value that I'm evaluating at. So I'm going to put a two. Then I'm going to drop the 5, multiply the number in the backwards L to that 5 via 10, and put it under the 4, under the next column. Then 4 plus 10 would be 14, times 2, I would put 28 in this column. 28 plus 8, that would be a 36. And 2 times 36 is going to be 72, so 1 plus 72 would be 73. So what that teaches us is, instead of doing the direct substitution, I can do this shortcut called synthetic division. So that means when I evaluate at the value of x equals 2, I get 73. So that means that an ordered pair would be 2 comma 73 on this function. However, once again, if I'm just asking you to evaluate, your answer would be 73. Okay, now for the next problem, we're going to do 38 on page 334. Once again, it started with this function notation, which is not a big deal. That's just our y. Okay, so to refer back to our steps for this, we need to make sure all your exponents are going from largest to smallest. So when I look at these exponents, I have a 3 followed by a 2, then a 1, and then nothing. So they are going in descending order. Second thing I need to make sure there's not any missing exponents. Since I started with the 3, I got 2, I have 1, and then I have nothing. I'm not missing anything. So when I use synthetic division for this, 
or excuse me, I'm saying division because that's what we'll use tomorrow, but it's really synthetic substitution in your book. I'm going to use the numbers in my problem. I'm going to use negative 3 followed by the 7 followed by the negative 4 followed by the 8. What I'm evaluating at is x equals 3. So I'll put that 3 in the backwards L. After that's done, I'll start my process. I'm going to drop this first number always. And then I would take what I'm evaluating at, 3, and I'm going to multiply it to that number. So 3 times negative 3 is going to be negative 9. Then I add those two numbers. Then I want to multiply again. 3 times negative 2 is negative 6. Put that under the negative 4. Negative 4 plus negative 6 is negative 10. Do it one more time. So I get 3 times negative 10 is negative 30. When I add those two together, I get negative 22. You're going to box that last answer. And what this is saying is this is a third degree function. If I evaluate at 3, I got negative 22. So 3, negative 22 would be an ordered pair on that function. However, if I'm just asking you to evaluate, the negative 22 would be your answer. I'm going to make you watch one more video, so um, the teacher will start it in just a second. I'm hoping this is making sense. If you need any questions, just email. Have any questions, just email me after the next video.